Ladies and gentlemen, now I've just been checking out the new Winter of Woe Hulkling boss. So this guy has tons of nodes here, but it essentially seems like the strategy is ideally you want a hero champion, but I think like any champion can work with the invade node, and you want to knock this man down and then just hit into his block to deal damage. So what we're going to use is Domino here, because she's a mercenary for one of the objectives. Um, and also, again, there's the evade node, so you really don't want to parry on this fight. So we're going to be a bit cheeky at the start. Go, like, straight in for the light attack there. And we just want to get this man to a point where we can, like, hit him to his block. I'm not very good with, like, punishing the end of the special one and finding the right timing for that. I really should have gone for a heavy attack on that stun there. Yeah, you can see we're, we're hitting into the block without the, um... The disarm on protection. A cheeky little heavy counter there. And we can full combo in. Then we special two. And we had a nice little chunk of damage there. So we took off 13%. And then again, it's kind of, to the best of my understanding, a bit of a rinse and repeat of that. The, uh, see what we can do, but again, if you get hit on this fight, even into your block, you get murdered. This man hits very, very hard. But you can get some fantastic base combos up as well. Um, and that was really good that he held block, just allowed me to get a bit of additional damage there. We're not going to be dealing too much. Oh, okay, a little bit off there. And because of the hero thing, even if you don't have um, protection down, the special two, if you're bringing in a hero, does hit quite hard. If you're really, really quick as well, I think you can get in after the, the special stun. It's always going to stun if you have a hero character and heavy attack, but I am not that quick. <laughs> and you might want to just be a little bit patient in terms of how you deal with this fight as well sometimes. Yeah, if you're looking to get that solo, at least. Okay, I just need this man to dash back. Perfect. And we don't want to hit too much because we don't want to accidentally, like, take our power up to a crazy level. Yeah, unfortunately he wasn't going for special twos there. I'm hoping I can hit into his block here. Cool. Bit cheeky. Okay, that was very cheeky. Shouldn't have gone away with that. Okay, this is it. Full combo. Straight into special two. Looking really good there. Get a couple more hits in. It doesn't really matter too much on the base. It's all about just charging up that special two there. Okay, cool. We're going to knock this man down. The healing is just like absolutely nothing on this fight though, which is really good. Almost panic there for a, a second. All about the spacing there. You don't want to dash back like too much. Oh, okay. One little tap, dude. That <laughs> that tap was like 30, 40 percent down. My goodness. Okay. Should be good. Okay, nice. We just need like maybe one or or two more good setups. Come on, just dash back, dash back, dash back, dash back, dash back. Come on, dude. <laughs> no, he's just dashing at me. <laughs> so rude. Oh, yes, the stun. Okay, that's clutch. That's clutch. Just dash back now. Dash back. Perfect. Thank you. 
Big damage, please. Big damage. Oh, let's go, dude. Let's go. That was sick. That was really, really good. Um, so, yeah, Domino absolutely rinsed Hulkling there. Fantastic. And that should be not only the, the first point for completion, but also the mercenary objective done. And I think we'll, we'll probably have a look at uh, one, one more champion as well. So we've even got the choice of dimensional beings or medium champions and Avengers. So I am going to uh, just get on May up and figure out which champion I'm going to use. Now, I feel like for the hero dimensional beings, I think Chavez might be a good option here because, again, she's not really nullify. Her damage, I think, is going to scale up really, really nice as well uh, with all the buffs that are going to be triggered on Hulkling. Uh, so yeah, I think she may work, but we are we're gonna find out really really soon. Um, a few Tramp Man, your Cosmic Ghost Rider as well. I'm kind of curious to see. I, I would imagine in theory like both of those could work. I think the really good thing about Chavez as well is just you know once we find those openings, just trying to be super safe here is um we can also then just very easy chain on the heavy to get rid of the protection. Yeah, Chavez might be a bit of a godsend for this one. Oh, okay. I'm already starting to see that damage uh, really shape up once we, we get to a proper ramp up. Again, that wasn't even really a great special two, to be fair. way too much protection on that last one. I think even if just, you know, getting rid of his protection and then hammer into, into the block, that's kind of what we're trying to go for. Oh, okay, that was that was great. <laughs> uh, oh, dude, Chavez is cooking. And then we can just go in, another combo, chain this down. Oh, hell yeah. And the base damage, oh my gosh, the advantage as well is just it's magical. I'm just going to save the relic for any sort of emergency. I actually probably should have just gone for the special two there, to be fair. Oh no, okay, I messed up my combo. I, I delayed a little bit. Um, I really need to... Uh, yeah, I'm getting so much additional power gain on this as well because of the uh, the Mystic Dispersion Mastery. So I, ju I just uh, need to be aware that's fueling up, but not much damage expected from the, uh, the Special 3 there. I was thinking about using the Relic into block, but I thought that would probably just get me in a bit of a bad situation. I think I'm just going to throw this here, hope he blocks. Oh, he did! <laughs> Incredible. Okay, so I'm just going to very quickly throw a heavy attack here. I've got regeneration buffs expiring on Hulkling, so I really need him to block quick. There we go, that should be good. You know, even getting those combos into block, dude, the power's just going up so quickly. Like 40k each one. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Chavez is pumping, man! That's so sick. I think, what was it? He got a lot of regeneration because he just hit so hard there. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. I don't, if I don't throw this just because I got things expiring, like I'm just going to push special three and I don't really want that. So I'm just trying to find a, a good opening, get my heavy attack in. Actually, I think we can, it's a bit wasteful, right? Because the M1s aren't going to properly break through protection there, but it's all right. Then just one more special two. 
I think ideally you just want to be using these heavy attacks like a little bit closer to um, when Chavez is at the special two. You're going to be at like one and a half bars of power. Let me use this just to stall out time a bit more. But now I think I'm just going to throw this straight away. Hope he blocks. Yeah, okay. Chavez is uh, is a head chef for that fight. She's absolutely cooking that Hulk clean. Um... But yeah, I like Nebula. That's that's a great boss. I think it's like it's gonna confuse a lot of people at first, but hopefully this video was really helpful uh for just seeing how you kind of fight him and deal with the nodes. I remember my first try, like Braun Absorbing Man, and I was like, uh <laughs> there's just so much going on here. Um but yeah, like once you just uh you know bring in uh the right champion and just hit into block, that is just you know, that's a great time. You're just absolutely cooking. So uh, I will say, I think Hulkling, another big W. Really, really fun fight. Um, a big win definitely gives me, like, big Nebula vibes as well. So I think, you know, once you learn the fight and learn the nodes, that one uh, is also just a really enjoyable challenge. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care, and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day.